Afternoon everybody and welcome back to Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park uh, for the latest in our Wednesday Facebook Live videos. Today we are carrying on with our world tour um, and we are seeing our coppery titty monkey today. Um, so please feel free to send in any comments or questions you might have. And he's just gone outside. That's very helpful. Um, otherwise, um, I'll do my best to, to answer any questions you might have. Um, but yeah, otherwise we'll, um, yeah, we'll crack on. I think what I might do actually is I might just quickly whiz round to outside. Because if he's going to sit outside might be easier to do this from outdoors. So let's have a quick whiz round outside, I think. He's gonna be a pain by the look of it. Hi Mary, hope you're okay today. So yes, uh, we will get round to our TT monkey. Our TT monkey lives with um, our golden-headed lion tamarinds, emperor tamarinds, um, red-footed tortoises, and Azara zaguchi in um, in our tamarind conservation centre. Right, I am now ready. There we go. Um, let's see where he's got to. Probably back inside. No, my luck. I think he has as well. Yes, he has. Let me just turn this TV off. There we go. Right. Let's try this. So, yes, we have one coppery TT monkey here at the wildlife park. He's a male. Um, currently living on his own. Unfortunately, we did lose his partner um, fairly recently. Um, but we are hoping that we do have a new um, TT monkey coming in. Hopefully in the next maybe a week or so actually so so yeah hopefully he'll, he'll have someone else um, for company um, obviously he's not on his own like I say he lives here with our emperor tamarinds and our golden headed lion tamarinds and red footed tortoises and the Zara Zaguti um, so he isn't on his own but it'd be nice that if he's got a bit more um, kind of company from from the same species would be a bit more a bit nicer for him so yeah, hopefully by the end of the week we might actually have a new TT monkey in, so, so that would be lovely. Uh, right then, so TT monkeys are a South American species of primate. Um, they are found um, in Brazil, uh, Peru, and I believe a bit of Bolivia as well. Titi monkeys are in the same family as the Seiki monkeys that we also have here at the Wildlife Park. Um, yeah, Titi monkeys and Seiki monkeys are both um, quite closely related. They don't look particularly similar, um, but yeah, they, they are quite closely related. So, so yeah. Um, Nice little link there with our with our Seiki monkeys. Uh, so Titi monkeys will generally live in um, kind of pairs or small groups. Um, they will mate for life, and they are generally monogamous. Um, pairs will kind of show their affection for each other by sitting next to each other and uh, kind of twine, intertwining their tails. Um, they will sit there with with their kind of tails curled up with with each other, which which is uh, rather cute to see. Um, they do also um, have certain vocalizations and things that they use um, to kind of reaffirm their pair bonds. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard our TT monkey shouting when you've visited, uh, but they've got quite a booming call for such a, a small monkey. Generally it can be heard up to around about a kilometer away. Um, it's kind of an um, increasing um, call in intensity. It starts with kind of a couple of little um, huffs and then it leads to this kind of big booming call, um, which is quite impressive when two of them are doing that together. The 
the majority of the diet for these guys is uh, fruit. Um, around about 75% of their diet in the wild is fruit, and they spend about that much time, 75% of their time, um, when they are feeding, foraging on fruit. The, the remaining 25% of the time, they will um, feed on leaves and uh, insects and things like that as well. Generally, fruit is earlier in the morning, and then leaves and things like that are, are more towards when they um when they are going to get ready to go to bed um they'll they'll eat leaves then so so yeah um that is that is pretty much it for, for diet wise here at the park they feed on um, a range of fruit and veg um along with some insects um and uh the usual kind of primate cake that we, we feed the majority of our primates here. So these teeter monkeys are classed as least concern on the IUCN red list. They're not thought of as threatened um, at the moment. Um, and they do seem to be doing fairly well out in the wild. They do face the usual threats, habitat loss, um, hunting uh, and being taken for the pet trade um is when the golden headed is coming to <laughs> good luck with the tea. oh wants a bit of a groom from the teeth monkey it's quite nice to see a little bit of interaction between the two different species there always quite nice to see um, yeah, and that's one of the reasons these mixed kind of species that species exhibits are, are quite useful, um, both for the animals and from kind of a public point of view oh, as well. Um, yeah, it, it allows the animals to kind of show some behaviours alongside other species as they potentially would in the wild. Um, And it's a good way of us allowing, you know, you guys and, and the general public to, to see these interactions, see how these animals would interact with with other with their kind of larger ecosystem as a whole. So so yeah, um yeah, it's always nice to see inter interactions like that. Yeah, I can see that, Catherine. Yeah. Um to be fair. Cheaty monkeys aren't too much of a cheeky monkey. They're um they are mostly fairly chilled out to be fair. Yeah. They don't cause too many issues, bless them. But um which is which is always handy. Um, but yeah, I can see where TT and cheeky sound quite fim uh, quite similar. So yeah, these guys are called coppery TT monkeys um, because of that kind of reddish brown um, fur that they have. Um, that is obviously where they get their, their name from. There are a number of different species of TT monkey. Um, but yeah, these are the coppery or red TT monkeys. Sometimes they will just be referred to as red TT monkeys. Um, but it's quite a lovely, um, lovely color that they, that they do actually have. I think that was probably me, Catherine. If I'm just rushing through saying TT, it does sound a little bit like cheeky, so. That is very probably me, not denunciating enough. Right then guys, if you've got any last minute questions, feel free to send them in. Otherwise I think we will wrap up with the TT monkey here. Um, there's not too much more to, to say about these guys. Um, Not too much more at all with these guys. Yeah, like I say, hopefully we'll um, 
we will have a, a partner in for this this one hopefully by the end of the week which would be nice so, so yeah we will see no we've never had any offspring um we've only ever had males here actually um kind of two males together at, at the same time so um so yeah unfortunately never had any offspring but i'm not actually sure what we've got coming in i don't know if it's another male or if it's if it's actually a female so we will i will find out soon enough i'm sure No, so we don't close over the winter, Catherine. We're, we're open every day um, from 10 a.m. Um, we last entry is at three and we close at four. Um, we are closed over the Christmas period, um, normally just for a few days on either side of Christmas. Um, but we, we normally put that up on our social media pages and things like that. But other than that, we are, we are open pretty much every day. So yeah, that is, um, that is pretty much it. Okay. Right then, guys, I think we will wrap it up with our TT Monkey there. Um, thank you for tuning in as ever, um, and we will see you again next week. Cheers, guys. Bye.